One of our biggest focuses has always been at William & Mary the student athlete component and I think our team does a great job of representing that and I think it shows in the individual accolades that you know girls on the team have received but also the team accolades, the IWLCA Honor Squad plus within the athletic department just really setting a standard high as to what our average team GPA is. Besides that on the field it was really rewarding as a coach to see that we were the leaders in ground balls per game, we were the leaders in um, draw controls per game, and we were third in the CAA for cause turnovers. And I think that speaks to the grittiness of our team, and I think it speaks to the mentality that they have going into games. One of the biggest things I was proud of is they never gave up towards the end of any game, no matter what the score was, whether we were up, whether we were down, whether we were tied. You know, we, they just consistently played to the last whistle. So for me, that was great as a coach, and I was always able to walk away from games knowing that there were a lot of really great things happening. The idea of competing for everything, every single minute that you have the opportunity, I think I've you know, as a staff, we've really put a precedence on just being grateful for the opportunity and cherishing that. And I think being able to compete to your best really puts that into the forefront, that idea of being grateful and really valuing the opportunity that you have. And it, the team has taken it, you know, full force, which is great. They've really worked on making sure that they're pushing their teammates to the best of their ability because it's not only making their teammate better, it's making them better, which makes the team better. So I, I really think well, we have a really good outlook going into 2016 based on that mentality alone. From last year to this year, we only lost one starter on our defensive end, which is really exciting given the fact that a lot of our stats are defensive driven that we've led the CAA in and so I feel like we're going to be really strong. I mean you have Abby, Jules and Kat who are all returning starters but then you've got great options for people who you know are willing to step in and, and pump up the defense even further. As for goalie, I think Meredith has had two good years of experience in the cage her first year splitting with Colleen and this last year you know she and Lista split some time but she got a majority of the experience and I think that that's gonna help her going into the season in terms of competing but we also have a new freshman who's doing a great job of competing in practice and Lista has always been a good competitor so we're excited to kind of see where that takes us and how it shakes out for the season. In the midfield that's always been something where we've really tried to embrace the idea of uber grittiness uh, because I think that the game is won between the 30s with the loose balls and things like that and the team is really loving the idea of going as hard as you can for as long as you can and that's number one in midfield so you know you have somebody like Shannon Quinn who is just an uber athlete she's willing to do whatever the team needs you know to get us that ball back I think we have a lot of freshmen that are stepping in um, into those midfield positions. We, we did lose a bit there, but I think that we have the ability to sort of shift people you know, through positions and, and fill those midfield spots to give us the strongest run every single time we're out there. We definitely will see a big loss in Ellen. She was our leading scorer last year, um, also on the draw. You know, she was big for us on the draw, but I see that as an opportunity for other people to really step up. I mean, Abby Corkum made an all-rookie team last year, so for her to really come in, I think, and have the opportunity to work with a bunch of different people, um, whether she's in the eight, whether it's you know her going to goal more herself, whether it's you know other teammates, her creating opportunities for others. So maybe she's not involved, but she's just creating. You know, I see a lot of strength in Danny Palmucci. She's a great feeder for us. I see a lot in, again, a lot of the freshmen are stepping up. I, I think creating a lot of scoring opportunities. Um, I'm just excited to see 
how the competitiveness continues and what shakes out as far as attack. So the freshmen naturally came in feeling a little timid, but I think our upperclassmen did a great job of just really taking them in and making them feel like they should be competing where they are. And I think that that's not always the case, so our freshmen have flourished because of that. They've really taken on doing the extra work and embracing the mentality of competitiveness and, and grittiness and just doing whatever the team needs and not being afraid or holding back at all, which is great. Pretty much everybody talks about the fact that we're opening with the defending national champions. We have a lot of really strong teams that we're playing before we get to conference, but I think that that's important for us so that we understand uh, where we need to work before we get into the conference play. So JMU is the returning champion, so I have no doubt that they'll have a, a, another good season. I think Towson is always in the running. They literally find a way every single time to make it to the championship game. With Delaware, they competed strong in the CAA last year. Hofstra was undefeated last year. I have no doubt that they'll bring in a lot of younger talent. Drexel is pretty much the grittiest team I've ever seen. And Elon is a team that even though they're brand new, they, they started competing their first year. So we really can't count anybody out and it'll be anyone's ball game just like it is every year. I think number one is just the attitude that the team has taken on and they've really taken charge and taken ownership of pretty much everything they do in practice and that competitive nature that we've been talking about, they've really taken it to another level. So I'm excited to see what that will do to carry over into the spring.